Hello, and welcome to another video presentation of Apex SQL Doc. In this video, we will explain how to set up the documentation process of Azure SQL databases using Apex SQL Doc. In order to gain access to Microsoft Azure servers through Apex SQL Doc, there are a few things that need to be set up before the documentation process can begin. When you log into a Microsoft Azure account, click the SQL Databases tab from the navigation panel on the left and you will get a list of created SQL databases. In the SQL Databases panel, various information can be found about all created databases. Status, Server, Pricing Tier, Location, etc. To manage the access of those databases, the corresponding server must be selected. The list of created SQL servers can be found in the SQL Servers panel. After selecting the desired server, the Settings menu will appear. In the Settings menu, you can see the essential information about the selected SQL Server, and you can also make additional changes by changing various server settings. To allow access to a server or database for documenting purposes, the configuration of firewall settings needs to be changed. That can be done in the Firewall tab. To configure the permissions for accessing the Azure server for a single user, enter the name and the start end IP address of the desired client and save the changes. If the server needs to be accessible by all users or be made public, there is a way to do that also. In this case, the rule for the firewall has to be set up using the following IP range. Now, when the setup on Microsoft Azure Portal is complete, the documentation setup can be continued in Apex SQL Doc. To establish a connection to the previously set up server, click the Add Database button. Once clicked, a dialog will appear where you need to set the authentication method to SQL Server Authentication Mode and enter the Azure SQL Server name with valid credentials. When the connection setup is complete, connect to the server and a list of connected servers and databases will be displayed separately in the main grid of Apex SQL Doc. In order to continue to the next part of the documentation setup, select the databases you want to document. The next step is to set up the documentation options. With Apex SQL Doc, it is possible to document various server instance settings and objects, and those options can be found in the Server Objects tab. It is also possible to choose which database options need to be included in the documentation. Those can be found in the Database Options tab. In order to document specific Azure SQL database objects or properties, go to the Database Objects tab. When filtering out a wanted group of objects, in this case, tables, it's possible to choose which table needs to be included or excluded from the documentation. After the selection of the desired database settings and objects is completed, the documentation of the selected Azure SQL database can begin by clicking the Generate button. When the documentation process is complete, you can open the generated documentation and you will see all the included details inside. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit apexsql.com.